y'all welcome and welcome back to my channel i'm katherine and on this channel i share easy diys home and encouraging messages through creative form and i'm so happy that you all are back and this is our first christmas video where we are going to be doing the shopping and at the end i'm going to share a huge haul with y'all and i'm really excited about this video because christmas is right around the corner something about christmas that is just super magical. I know a lot of you all are already looking for Christmas decor, inspiration, and ideas, and I wanted to make sure I got this video out to y'all in enough time. So we are going to jump right into the stores that I visited, which were Anthropology, Macy's, Target, World Market. I'm that person that goes to the same store in a different location because I want to see everything that they have. I wanted to have options, and I wanted to show y'all everything that were in these stores. And you all are going to see a snippet of my hometown, Chicago, because I recently visited and I did a little window shopping there. Look at all this color at this house, stinking cute. Oh my gosh, we're going to New York this year. Okay, we have to get this. Eiffel Tower, okay, this is so, it's like Christmas around the world. How cute. tree. Hopefully we're trying to find a tree that doesn't have any lights on it so that we can add our own. There it is. It's full. You like it? What do you like about it? Actually, it's the fullest tree they have. Yeah, I love it. And then they have locked ends. So the husband has spoken and he wants this tree. <laughs> Where do you even start? Found a tree and now we're getting lights. We decided to go with the clear twinkle mini lights. The debate is how many lights do you get for a seven and a half foot tree? section just for your pets. Ornaments, a tree skirt. So we got a tree, we got lights, and we did it all at one store.
spread out around me based off of the store. The majority of my items came from Target. It was literally a one-stop shop for almost everything that we wanted or needed. And then I got some items from Crate and Barrel, Anthropology, and World Market. So I have a little bit of everything. This is definitely an assortment. I have everything from Christmas decor, pet decor, hot cocoa, marshmallow toppers, specialty ornaments, kitchenware, tableware, gift wrapping, and so much more. And so we are going to start with Target. Starting off with this month. <laughs> this is a five dollar mug. I have just been really into colorful exterior villages and homes. Recently when we visited New Orleans, I just fell in love with the architecture and so many colorful buildings. Anything that I see that looks like a village or that's colorful, I'm like gravitating towards it. The bottom are exterior buildings that are beautiful colors and a snowy winter. It has a Santa Claus on there and a reindeer. And the Santa Claus is black, which I rarely ever see that. That is a bonus. Inside of the mug, it says Believe. Target had this entire gift wrapping section full of black artists and it just lit up my face because I rarely ever see gift wrapping or Christmas decor made by a black artist or even has a black Santa Claus or black Mrs. Claus. So I just went crazy, but I tamed myself and only picked up a couple of items. There are two gift wrappings, they both are $5. I picked up this beautiful gift bag. It just took me back to my childhood. This is such a beautiful illustration where there's cookies and cupcakes and peppermints and she has her hair in a high puff. And then I also picked up this keepsake ornament by the same artist, Bo Jackson. Only $5 and someday when we have kids, if we have a girl, I definitely want her to see herself in this ornament on the tree. So I think this is just so special and I'm just so grateful like Target is showing a lot of representation. The next item are these bottle brush trees. I picked up four of them. I don't know if I'm gonna keep them. I know this time last year they were super popular and by the time that I wanted to decorate with them, it was, there was none left. So I said this year I'm gonna stock up on them just in case I decided I still wanted to go with the whimsical theme that I did last year, which was most likely going to happen. Each one of these were only a dollar. This next item is a Christmas pet item, and it is an advent calendar for my dog. It's shaped in a bone. The bottom it says, deck the paws with a little pom-pom in the middle. A wooden star that you place on each day to count down. But I think what I'm going to do is probably put like little treats in here for him. I think he is going to be super excited. One of our biggest goals for Christmas was to get a Christmas tree this year. I have had my wife Christmas tree for the last six years and I only paid I think $60 for it and it was on sale at Walmart but over time it started to turn yellow and brown and y'all saw my video from last year y'all saw I just turned that tree around because it was showing through the camera so we were like this year we have to get a Christmas tree and we saw the most beautiful tree that was everything that we wanted we wanted to be seven and a half feet we wanted to be green unlit thick and possibly on sale. It wasn't on sale, but I took a poll on Instagram and asked y'all, was $200 for a Christmas tree a good price? And it was 50-50, but the more I kept checking back, the majority of you guys said, yeah, this is a great price. And as I began to look into the prices for Christmas trees, woo, I had no idea they run 500, 600. I saw a Christmas for $1,000 and it was full. This is the one that we end up getting, the Virginia Pine Unlit Tree. It was $200, seven and a half feet. I guess the good thing about this is that we get a chance to keep it for the rest of our lives. Stand in the tree decor theme, I picked up this unlit tree topper. It's a knit new tree topper. So my husband, he was like, yeah, I like this. I like this a lot. It makes me happy that he likes it. We just really like that cozy, boho look and feel and style. It's gonna be our first tree topper. This tree topper was only $5. I ended up getting two boxes of mini lights, clear twinkling 
because we love that starry look. These are indoor, outdoor, and they're 24 feet and eight inches. So we hope that these are enough for our tree for also only $5. The reason why we didn't go for a tree that was pre-lit because we have had a tree in the past where when one of the light bulbs went out, like half of the tree lights went out. Something that I just ordered this morning was a tree skirt. This is a knitted pom-pom tree skirt. Again, very boho. I'm just envisioning right now with this knitted star and then the knitted tree skirt with the pom-poms and the green pine tree. Ugh, we gotta calm down, we gotta calm down. We, we just gotta calm down. It's gonna be so special because this is our first quality tree that this big tree topper, a tree skirt, we put our specialty ornaments on there, we got lights for it, so this is a big deal. And now we're gonna go to some ornaments. We kinda stick to specialty ornaments or ornaments that have meaning to it. It's a Noel ornament. Is three dollars. Their knitted ornament, that's the letter J, initial for our last name, also only three dollars. Pink and red village is just so sticking cute. It was only three dollars. Reminds me again of our trip to New Orleans. Found the cutest tea ornament. It says tea and fuzzy socks on there. I always see like coffee ornaments or hot cocoa ornaments, but I never see a tea one. So of course, when I saw this, I was like, I have to get it. And it has lemons in the middle, and then it has a little tea bag on the side with a snowflake. And this was also $3. This last item is my Princess Tiana ornament, and she has a little frog in her hands. So I have never been to Disney World, and it is a dream of mine to go to Disney World. But again, when we visited New Orleans, we actually came back home to watch Princess and the Frog, and man, the connection. We were just like blown away how well Disney captured the culture in New Orleans. This ornament was $9. Next item are kitchenware, tableware, table decor. The first thing that we're gonna start off with is this bird candle holder. It's $15. Reminds me a lot of the one I already have back here. It's from the Opal House collection, this one from the Threshold collection, but I just love unique candle holders. Also picked up these taper candles. They are in a burgundy color. They're twist candles. They do not have a set to them. They come in a set of two and they were $6. I thought about just adding these two together. I picked up two tea towels. This first one says, all is bright and it's full of ornaments all over it. I love how whimsical and colorful this look. Anything that is different than the traditional red and green, I typically gravitate towards it. So I picked up this pink one that has berries all over it. And I just thought these together were so bright. Boho. So I'm usually the one that does all the cooking and baking for the holiday season. I really enjoy it so much. So I will be getting a lot of views out of this batter bowl and it was only $15. So have a spatula that said all is bright. It's $2. This is a salad plate, also known as a layering plate. And it says believe on there with a wreath. I like to get something small like this to place the cookies on there when we're watching a movie. It's also $3. I picked up this 19 ounce metallic candle that is sugared cranberries. Ooh, it actually reminds me a lot of the scent in anthropology. For fall, when I bought a lot of smaller candles, I went through them so fast. So I figured buy one candle, get a large one, and it should last me all of December. We'll see. Y'all ought to be proud of me. I only bought one pillow this year. <laughs> is this ornament pillow. It really remind me of the Nutcracker. And this pillow is $15. You can probably see a theme going on. I had the Nutcracker in my video last year. We had these colors in our home last year. So we're just continuing this whimsical, cozy thing this year. The last thing from Target are the Super Soft Crew Socks. So we got three pairs. Each one of these were three dollars. I also got another pair for my husband. They're super sweet, super festive, and we are probably gonna wear these when we decorate the tree and just all throughout December. This item did not make it in my last video because it did not arrive in enough time, but we're definitely gonna be utilizing it on our table this year, which are these rib cups. I got two of them. They are from Crate and Barrel. I think they were like five ninety something. They were under six dollars for sure but these are really great quality. I'm so excited to like, introduce this Christmas decor to y'all and it's from Anthropology. Y'all, where do we even start? This little townhome is a candle. I saw it last year and they were completely sold out and I really, really wanted it. 
And as soon as I got an email that it came back out this year, I ordered it immediately. Make sure that you keep checking back because they always have a sale. I actually bought it for regular price and then they had an online sale that same week and I ended up just getting a price adjustment. But it's currently on sale right now. So when this video goes up, it might not be on sale, but keep checking back. But I ordered this piece back in October, October 11th. It should get here by the time that we decorate for Christmas. The next item that I picked up is this Astrid stocking. Y'all, if this doesn't scream boho, I don't know what else to tell y'all. I just, I just don't. Belted pom-poms in there with some gold tinsels. And it's so big as well. I don't think I've ever had a stocking this big. Ironically, it went on sale online. So it's currently on sale as I'm recording this video. So again, with anthropology items, just check back because they constantly have surprising, limited time sale items on Christmas decor. So keep checking back, but the link is down below in the description box. They've been having 20% off their candles, and I've seen it multiple times. One of the candles that my husband loves from there, like he won't buy nobody else's candles, but this specific one, because it smells like coffee, is the espresso candle. I haven't even opened it and I smell the espresso through this already. The time they have a sale, we just wrap up on it. And last but not least from Anthropology, y'all, hold on to y'all seats, hold on to your hair, hold on to your braids. Cause let me tell y'all something. I saw this and I was like, y'all are gonna flip when you see this. A prim rose mirror ornament. It's a replica of the larger one. I just bought it yesterday. It's not even online yet. That's how new it is. It was $24. Back side of it, it has 2021. This might not be the year that I get the big mirror. For the price, I'm gonna wait until God blesses me. Have any of y'all been affected by this daylight saving time? It is only 6.30 right now, but it feels like it's nine o'clock at night. But I wanted to show you all, all of the hot chocolate and marshmallow toppers and just cute seasonal hot chocolate accessories. These are all of my seasonal sweets for our hot cocoa. So this one is the hot cocoa peppermint from Starbucks. It's like the only hot cocoa drink I get from there. I have these snowflake marshmallows, two milk chocolate peppermint mini barks, use them as stocking stuffers, mug huggers, two houses, and a candy cane. If you're having like a huge hot chocolate party, these will be so adorable. Get these from Burrow Market. I also picked up um, peppermint whipped cream. Now this is a new one this year. So this is the classic cream, real whipped light cream peppermint. It comes out pink and it tastes like peppermint. It's not too sugary either, but this is just so much fun. I cannot wait to add this to my hot chocolate. Of course, cannot forget my Southern Comfort eggnog the best eggnog in the world. I drink this every single year. And my husband has a different one. It's a Southern Comfort Original Eggnog and it's a little bit of a big one when it comes in a black. This one is a vanilla spice flavor and it's so good and it's non-alcoholic. Last item, which is not a food item, winter peppermint essential oils and these are wax cubes. Initially, it looks like a lot, but everything has a home. And I'm so thankful that we decluttered before I came around to this. These are my infamous nutcrackers. I got them in 2018 from Target at a Paris snow globe. I've never been to Paris, but I have been in Italy. An open box of twinkle lights, candy dips, some tea towels. This one has like gingerbread cookies, peppermints. This one says Believe from Mint Jar that I usually put my tea inside. The beautiful advent calendar that has this cute little tree with some pom-poms. Last year we did 25 days of countdown and each one of these I put Bible verses in and this one says he shall be called Emmanuel. This is a similar countdown calendar but it's a garland shape and it comes with this little mistletoe and it has the pom-poms on there. Very similar to this style. Target has this style last year and I absolutely love it. I have some more garlands that I collected over the years. This one I got from Hobby Lobby. Colorful pom-pom that I also got from Michaels. This white pom-pom one is from Home Goods. Last Twinkle Light one I think is also from Target. Dollar spot last year as well. I like layering these stars this countdown garland. When I moved to Texas, I was really into sparkle everything and I still love it to this day. I have a sparkly reindeer. This came from Michaels and Michaels. Beautiful rose gold wreath. Also got this one from Michaels like two or three years ago. Some trees that I got from Hobby Lobby is another wreath. And then the sign in the middle says joy and it actually lights up. And this beautiful pine cone greenery flocked 
piece <laughs> is from Michaels a couple of years ago. Over here are our stockings. We have three miniature stockings with our initials from, and I got the from Target last year, or Target two years ago. They have them back out this year again. They have them out for like every Christmas. And then this one is for my dog. It has bells on it, and it's striped, and it says whoop. And I got this from Home Goods. This one is my husband's stock. It's with the pom-poms on there. And this one we got from Target, I wanna say a year ago. And then this one, mine, also has pom-poms on there and is knitted. And I love it, but I wanted to switch mine out this year for this one. I saw that's the pillow that I got this year. It goes well with the pillows that I had from the previous years. This one says, Marry Everything is Another throw pillow, a matching one. It's the most magical time of the year. And then this blanket. I believe all of these throw pillows and blanket is from Target. And this was probably gonna go into my office along with one of these pillows in my reading nook. No idea I had that many trees, but I did like a tree moment on our console. But I have a really good idea what I'm gonna do with it this year. I just have some faux snow, and this bag is from Michaels. And this beautiful sparkle green tree is from Michaels about five years ago, and it has a burlap base, and I end up getting this fuzzy white tree skirt. It's so cute. This one is probably gonna go in my office. I didn't take it out the bag because it's super glittery. And then over here are all of our ornaments that we have collected. Y'all can basically get the style that is going on over here. So if you guys been following along with my uh, my rental series, you saw that we have organized our cabinet and there's one shelf full of Christmas mugs. Bought this one after Christmas was over and I think it was like two or three dollars. I got it from Macy's. This is a tea strainer in the shape of a Santa Claus hat. Lastly is this plate that I got from Home Goods. It goes back to loving exteriors that are colorful. Little bottle of water in the middle. It's shaped like the bean in Chicago. Just love this plate. So that is all for this video. I know that it was packed with so much good stuff, but I really wanted y'all to feel like y'all were there with me, see what all the stores had. I hope that this video really gave you some inspiration and get you excited for Christmas this year. I cannot wait until we're decorating for Christmas. I think it's gonna be such a sweet, sweet video. So make sure that you subscribe to my channel and do not forget to hit that notification bell because that's how you will know when my next video will come out. And if you enjoyed it, definitely give it a thumbs up and do not forget to share it. Other people can see my channel, see this video, get inspired and get encouraged. Also back on Instagram, so make sure you follow me over there because I share a lot of behind the scenes. And as my items start to come in, I'm gonna be sharing it over there as well. Just also like to talk a lot, <laughs> so come and say hi. As always y'all, thank you so much for being here. It means so much to me. And I will talk to y'all later.